Well, hello, Shelly Rocks here. Welcome to a new video. This is a video all about a new feature called, uh, well, I say feature. It's an add on to uh, Streamlabs called Mob Crush. So let me go and get my Streamlabs over here so you can see it. So, um, if you go to the store, there is a new app on here called Mob Crush. So if you look at this, you can see this is, this is, I guess it's a um, replacement for uh, Restream. If any of you have used that, then you'll know it enables you to stream across multiple platforms. So this is actually, it's a little bit different because it's actually internal to the Streamlab, uh, Streamlabs app. So you can go ahead here, click up here and install it and open it up and you can see we've got uh, various supported platforms we can stream to twitch youtube mixer and facebook it's got a unified chat which means you can see incoming chat from all of your uh, channels you can set your game stream title and description from one screen you can view statistics from previous streams uh, for each platform and you can download your previous stream so up to 90 days after your live stream so it's literally like a swiss army knife of stuff so Go and click on here. Uh, you can see, look, there's some of the various streams that somebody's got there. And I, th I think it's pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I've installed it. Let me dismiss that little notification there. Right, so you go to your, you think you go to your dashboard, but no, it adds it under here. So it's an entirely new tab. So you add it under here and then you can come into here now at the moment i have connected my youtube account which is here i've also connect, connected my twitch account i created an account on mixer it makes it so easy to uh upload these uh well to connect them you literally just uh before that is connected there's a button you click on it you just log in with your username or your email and your password and that's it. It comes up with a pop-up saying, do you want to give it permission? You say yes and it's connected. And then you can just like turn these all off and on there if you want. And also there's an interesting feature here. You can opt to appear in on the Mob Crush channel. So uh, this is actually, by selecting this, you are opting in for a chance to be shown on the Mob Crush channel. And this is, it's a channel which is on 52 different, well, 52 million devices so it's on TV, it's on TiVo, it's on uh, all sorts of different devices. You can just opt into that like that. Um, so in order to set up your uh, stream, it's quite interesting because it go it already goes off your um, your Streamlabs settings. So if you've got this Streamlabs set up already, you literally don't have to do anything apart from do your accounts on here. And then you just need to come over here. You can search for the game. So... Let's say I'm streaming Fortnite. You search for it. You've got different ones. You've got Fortnite Mobile, Fortnite, Save the World. Uh, it does say here as well, can't find your game. Select other for now and ask us to add it. So that's going to add this thing here. So you can enter your email address. You can do the device and you can say, you know, please add uh, Brony Adventures 69 and uh, they'll hopefully add it. So, um, yeah, we, so we had our game here. Let me see. No, 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 no. Fortnite. There we go. So you add your game there and then you can put your title. So I could put, put this, um, you know, epic takedown of ninja with just my teeth. Um, and then you can do your description there required. So, uh, this is, Broadcast descriptions are used exclusively by YouTube and Facebook. So it must be like a requirement that you have to do them. So, you know, come watch me stream. And then the only thing you can't really add, uh, which I've, I think you can do on the likes of Twitch, there is extra tags on Twitch. Like if you want to add tags like backseat gaming and things like that, you can add a, a tag to it to mature broadcast. I guess that's a requirement for, uh, well, not a requirement, but that's a thing for Mixer. So um, I guess the idea of this is it's just to get your stream on as many things as, one, as you want. Now, something to bear in mind, I do believe if you're partnered with Twitch, you are not allowed to stream to other platforms. So if you do do well out of this, 
you might not want to stream to Twitch at the same time as the others. But uh, I think it's pretty cool. I've never seen one before that you could stream to uh, like Facebook, though, and the adding integration stuff's pretty cool. So that's all your specifics there. Now, you can do a thing here. It's got save broadcast info. So saving info overwrites any previous settings with your uh, multi-stream key and settings. So you can save that for future reference. Now, an interesting thing you can also do, a thing on here, which is schedule a broadcast. So say, what is it today? Um, Tuesday today. So say you, it automatically streams a day in advance. So it's actually Tuesday here. Um, you need to select a date between 10 minutes and seven days in the future. So I'd have to change the time. So my time at the moment is 7.39. So if I do this to, oh, it's not 24 o'clock. How very dare you? Right. Um, if I do this to, say, 7.50, well, 7.53 p.m. And you can schedule it there. If you scroll down, you can do an image as well. And then you can save your information on that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you can reset all your settings there, get rid of it, everything. And then you've also got the other tab that we've got on here is the um, stream stats. So I've not actually streamed anything for this with this yet. I just saw it because I am a total. If any of you've seen, well, if any of you've seen me, my, any of my previous streams on Twitch and YouTube, I, I, I don't really feel that comfortable streaming yet. So I've not done an awful lot of streaming. So uh, I, I just saw this happen for, ooh, three or four birds with one stone. So that's going to be, it is something I'm going to, I'm going to have a little go at doing a test stream and stream across all platforms at once. Now, if you're streaming across multiple platforms, you might be like, but hey, Shirley Rocks, how do I keep tra chat of all the people giving me abuse in chats? Well, you need to click here, display unified chat. Okay. And this opens up your unified chat, which I'm, I'm guessing the, the way to handle this would be, you'd want to drop this out like this so then you'd have your separate window open like this and then you could have your um no oh, i've got my picture of my dog oh then okay so you, you want to have this in a separate little window let's see if we can find it so you'd want to try and uh keep this streamed in a separate little window like that uh easy if you got two monitors i guess um i think if, you, if you've only got the one monitor you might actually sh struggle with that so maybe in future they'll do the unified chat in a um inside like one area because i think that would be quite annoying i'm to resize this a little bit also the um it'll as it's integrated within um slobs uh you will be able to use your normal shortcuts for doing the um starting the stream stopping the stream but yeah anyway that is just my quick little uh, view and uh, review of Mob Crush. I think it looks really good. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments box below. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful and you've never heard about it, give me a thumbs up. See you later.